No, I know, I know it's a cliche, but my favorite album of all time is still Sgt. Pepper. Sgt. Pepper, what's that? Well, it's only the Beatles' most famous album. The Beatles? I'm sorry, who are they? Well, the best group of the 60s. Oh, the 60s. I didn't hear much music in the 60s. What? What are you talking about? Well, Dad always was a little crazy, but after the car accident, when he started taking the medication, things got worse. One night, he woke me up and knocked me out. <laughs> Brought me down the basement where I lived for the next decade. I heard no music. I had no friends. I just lived in the darkness. They shoved food under my door, so I had to eat pancakes and pizzas. <laughs> it was a nightmare, but I survived. That's horrible. I, I'm sorry. I... Of course I heard of the Beatles, you retard. <laughs> hey, everyone! I told this moron that my crazy dad locked me in the basement for 10 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to kill him. I mean, that's understood, right? Okay. You're about to eat. We give thanks. Amen. Amen. Mother? Yes, dear. There's something out there. You weren't expecting anybody? I don't see anyone, dear. Actually, we're in the middle of our uh, evening Oh, meal. thanks. Oh, God. The memories, eh? They slide back like... like memories. <laughs> oh, look at that, eh? The old covers. Love these old covers. Oh, hi, Talbert. <laughs> what is it, Mom? I don't know. You shouldn't have these out. I'm not allowed to play with these. These gotta go away. Uh, that's because it's ours. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. Well, thank thank you. you. Welcome. Oh, the table. You know what? I was born right here on this table. Oh. Are, are you all right, dear? Yeah, I'm remembering. <laughs> what is it? Oh, Chicken. But it's also a kid. It's a chicken kid. It's a girl. What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> oh, How dare you say? <laughs> Suppose I should leave you alone so you can kill it. Stop, Scooby! 
squirming, you ugly. Mama. Ooh, baby. You shouldn't be in here. This is our room. Oh, do you have sex here? <laughs> is this where you have sex? in the room. What are you doing? And the high school was hell for me because I was really unpopular. But know why? Because I was special. Yeah, my mom said so. She said all the other kids would pay in hell. Hey, that's where I used to catch my boss, right down there. That's great, Trondra. Time for work. Too cool. Listen, Trondra. How about a little H2O to take the edge off? Right on. Thanks, Trondra. <laughs> Listen, Trondra. This isn't El Paterno water. This is common tap water. Right. Listen, I hate to get heavy, but you're fired. Is that cool? <laughs> Too cool. Two weeks pay? Whatever. There's the door, why don't you check it out? Groovy. <laughs> Letter of reference? Rockin'. <laughs> hey, if I can't trust her with the water, what's my lunch gonna look like?
Hello, Dr. Banning. Mr. Fanning, please have a seat. Well, the test results are back. Oh, uh, and? Afraid it's cancer, a brain tumor, terminal. How long? Month at the most. I've got a month to live. I'm going to die. Not you, me. <laughs> I'm talking about my test results. God, you patients are all the same. That's always how am I doing? Well, you know, I get test results too. I can't believe I'm gonna die. Well, what about my test results? Oh, you've got an ulcer. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. Hey, wait a minute. What? These files are mixed up. What? My Fanning must have gotten the banning file. It's you. You've got cancer. What? <laughs> I've got a month to live. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> now I know how to handle this. Well, Mr. Fanning, I've got some terrible news. I know. Isn't it terrific? What a relief. I'm going to live. Wait, wait, doctor. Doctor. What? It says Fanning here, but inside it's the Manning chart. You're right. It does say Manning. So I'm not going to die. No. Manning is. <laughs> Excuse me, doctor. Mr. Manning is here to see you. <laughs> Send him in, nurse. Do you mind? No, stay. <laughs> Mr. Manning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Things to do, things to do today. Got a big day ahead of me, several things to do. Got to keep on top of my life, got to keep on top of my life. Got seven things to do. Number one, banking. Number two, pick up dirt. Okay, you just knocked over an old lady, keep moving. You got seven things to do. Okay, one down. I got six things to do. Number two, pick up dry cleaning. Number, wait a second. I got number five where number seven should be. Number eight, switch number five with number seven. Good morning, everybody. This is a hold up. I repeat, this is a hold up. No funny business or this will happen to you. Get the money. Now we need a hostage. Okay. Uh... You. All right, you're being held hostage. Added to the schedule. Adjusted, adjust. Number two, pick up dry cleaning. Excuse me. Could you drop me off of my dry cleaners? It's a paper dad for the fix. Look. Maybe you don't understand the situation that you are in. You are a hostage, and I am a man with a gun. So shut up! Here's my dry cleaners. Thank you. <laughs> nice try, smart ass. Let's go. He won't give me my pants because I lost my tag. No tag, ah. no pants. Look, well, give him his pants. No! Look, give him his pants so this'll happen to you. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, these are your pants. My mistake. <laughs> Number three, buy stamps. Hmm. Driver, turn right. I'm going to the post office. No, no, we're not going right. We're going left. Uh, turn right. No, we're going left. Turn left. Could you turn right, Trevor? Look, we're going left. If you don't shut up, this is going to happen to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> Number three, by stamps, so... 
Okay. Gotta keep on top of my life. Gotta keep on top of my life. Okay, you just knock on the same old lady. Keep moving, you got five things to do. Number three, buy stairs. got to do your abs. <laughs> I hope you don't find it um, delinquent of me that I haven't updated my resume, but I've been researching your exciting company. Too cool. <laughs> Listen, I've cruised your resume, and here's how I think we should proceed. Let's have a couple of quick talks. Uh, frankly, I'm not sure. But I grew it myself. Listen, I'm gonna cut you some slack and get right to the grief. Groovy? Groovy? You're right for the job, but the job's wrong for you. Ciao. Hey, he slobbered on my pot. Is that a knock? Listen, dude, I'm here for the gig. Check this out. You're hired. Sure. When do I start? Nowish. First order of business? Dinner reservations. Right. A nice little Japanese place that serves fries on the side. Yum, yum, yum. I'll dig that in my tongue. Listen, I'm not hiring you just because you're a young, beautiful woman. Right. I just happen to be a young, beautiful woman. Right. <laughs> we feminists have to stick together. Well, I thought that was a beautiful funeral, Judy. And I thought Reverend Hall gave such a lovely eulogy. Oh, I'm sure Chuck would have appreciated it. No, Fran. Chuck hated the Reverend Hall, thought he was a Nelly. Oh! Oh, Judy, you're just lashing out, aren't you, pet? I'll tell you one thing. Everybody in this neighborhood is very supportive. No, Fran, no one in this neighborhood has ever been supportive of anything. Oh, well, that's not true. Oh, Fran, what about last Christmas? That man crashed his car, was crawling around the street covered in blood. Oh, 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 we were just being polite. If he wanted our help, he would have asked for it. And besides, you know, I think he was Portuguese. You know how proud they are. Aw, <laughs> oh, there, there. Let it all out. Come on. Oh, yeah, you've suffered a great, great loss, but the sadness will pass. No, 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 Fran. What? I'm not crying. I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how happy I am now that Chuck is dead. Oh, Judy, don't say that. He was a good man. Oh, no, he wasn't, Fran. God, 27 years I put up with that fat, smelly body next to mine. Oh. 27 years of burping, farting, and football. Oh, but he was your husband, for goodness sakes. You know, till death do you part. Oh, Fran, he wasn't a husband. He was a habit. Oh. I am a recovering spouseaholic, Fran. Oh, it's the grief talking, not you. I know that. Oh, Fran, his death was like liposuction. I lost 250 pounds of ugly, flaccid fat. Oh. Look at me, Fran. I was meant to wear black. Well, it is a tragedy for sure. So what are you going to do now, dear? I'm going to travel, Fran. Oh. 
That's right. I'm going to go to Tahiti. Oh? Yep, I'm going to Tahiti, and I'm going to paint young Tahitian boys. <laughs> Not pictures of them, Fran. I'm going to paint the boys. Oh. But why? They're already a lovely brown color. Now, there were some people today at the funeral who were an awful, awful gray pallor. They could use a new coat of paint. Remember, charity begins at home. Well, this isn't about charity, Fran. This is about me and a whole lot of insurance money. Oh. Gordon's insured, isn't he? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll tell you, I couldn't imagine a life without my Gordy. Oh, Fran, just think of the possibilities. I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't possibly. Mm. Ah, Fran, you never could keep house. Look what I found in the couch. <laughs> I just imagine blowing Gordon up. I feel horrible. Oh, Fran, don't punish yourself for your thoughts. Oh, well. Just think of all the things you could do if you were single. Uh -huh. I mean, you could go back to school or get a job or coax young boys into manhood. Ooh. Well, I could do a lot more volunteer work, yeah. yeah. Oh, but it's easy for you. Chuck is dead. Well, Fran, why don't you just come with me? I've got oodles of money. You can't imagine how much insurance money you get when your old man is accidentally ground up to make cat food. Well, you know, Judy, I do have my passport, mm -hmm. and my vaccinations are up to date, and I don't have a criminal record. Oh, just thinking about it gets my blood pressure soaring. Oh. Hey, Fran. King of the Anglers is home. <laughs> Look at these beauties here. All the other guys with their fancy lures, and I caught these devils with good old-fashioned... Paper clips and snot. Oh. Oops. Hi, hey, Judy. Listen, sorry to hear about Chuck being ground up like that, but uh, it was inevitable. Gordon! Well, he never wore a helmet. Oh. Well, Fran, I'm going to go down to the art supply oh. store. Should I get anything for you? No, just send me a postcard, pet. All right. Don't let that policy lapse. I won't. Listen, Fran, I still got some pretty good worms in the tackle box. Why don't you put them in fresh earth? Yes, master. Oh, quit your joking around. You are my zombie lord. Oh, come on. Thank you, guys.